Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to your C-Sharp programming series. So what are we gonna be talking about in this video? Well, I really just wanted to talk about nesting stuff. Very technical. <laughs> so what are we gonna be doing? We're basically going to be putting an if statement inside of this for loop, and then we're gonna be talking a little bit about nested if statements. So if statements inside of if statements. So let's get started. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, basically we want to do something special if we find a specific number. So right now we're doing 97531. Let's say if the number is seven, we're going to console log, console.write line, something a little special. So to do that, what we do is say if and i is equal to seven, what are we gonna do? We'll say console write line, we found seven. Executing this, you can see it says nine, seven, and then it says we found seven. So it seems to be working. So now you're getting a little bit more experience with nesting stuff, and you can see it just continues the pattern uh, started up all the way up at this namespace. We can put this if statement inside of this for loop, and it's going to run every single iteration. So for nine, it checks to see if it's seven, nope. And then it goes to the next iteration, set, checks to see if seven is seven, yes it is, and it writes that, and so forth all the way down to one. You can also put if statements inside of if statements. So for example, we might want to do something really special. Let's say we only want to output this information if we have logging turned on. So here's what we're gonna do. Inside of this if statement, we are going to create another if statement, and it's gonna look something like this. And we'll actually cut this and paste it inside of the inner if statement. And then we'll just make up some variable here. We'll just say, if logging is equal to true, and what is logging? Well, I just made it up, so we just need to go define it. So up here we can say bool logging, and we can give it the value true. Now let's run this, see what happens. And you can see it says we found seven. But if we go up here and we turn this extra logging off, when we run it now, you can see it does not give that output. So that's a little bit experience with nesting. What I wanna talk about in the next video is how to do nested for loops. This is useful if we want to iterate through some kind of 3D shaped data structure. So maybe you have an array of arrays or you have array lists of array lists and yeah, so forth. So make sure you understand this content and in the next video, we'll get into a little bit more advanced stuff. It's also how you can make cool triangle and pyramid shapes, which a lot of people are interested in for some reason. So yeah, you better go check it out because you need that information in your life. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to sub and I'll see you guys in the next video.